Well, hello then, I do hope you're all well. Now, is this a powerful takedown of the Home Secretary, Suella Braverman? Now, this is an urgent question where Shadow Home Secretary Vet Cooper made a statement about the horrendous conditions at Manston and the rising cases of diphtheria there, and what you will hear is quite shocking, but not surprising, really. <laughs> Thank you, Mr Speaker, and also for your words about obviously it was difficult to respond to a statement after just 10 minutes. Mm. But I thank the Minister, Immigration Minister for the information he's given us. I have to say, why is the Home Secretary not here? Yeah. This is supposed to be her top priority. We've had two UQs, a, dis a debate and this statement in the last few weeks on this chaos, and she hasn't done any of them. of them. You have to ask, what is she for? She obviously doesn't have a grip, and she has made this chaos worse. The government has failed to stop the proliferation of criminal gangs in the Channel, is still refusing to adopt Labour's proposal for a new National Crime Agency unit to target the gangs, mm. and has failed to sort out the chaos in asylum decision-making, so they are only taking around half as many as six years ago, uh, even though they have more staff, and just 2% of last year's small boat cases have been decided, creating a backlog of nearly 100,000 people waiting more than six months for a decision, compared to just 4,000 when they took office, all of which has led to a completely inappropriate use of hotels at the last minute, with no proper information for local councils and no proper information for public health officials. And then, of course, the chaotic handling of the situation at Manston. The information that the Minister has just given us is that there are 50 diphtheria cases. Can he confirm that that compares to just three last year? Can he tell us when ministers were first told of diphtheria cases at Manston? When were they warned? By the mid-October, the Home Office admitted publicly that there were cases at Manston, but on the 26th of October, the Home Office officials told the Select Committee they had sufficient health arrangements in place to address diphtheria. Clearly, they did not. Mm. The government still kept thousands of people in overcrowded conditions, described by one person as being huddled around fan heaters, thousands of people in overcrowded conditions trying to stay warm. Clearly, these are conditions which make it easy for infectious diseases to spread. The processes that he has just described now clearly are important, but why on earth were they not put in place many weeks ago? It took until 11th, the 11th of November, after thousands of people had been held there for weeks, in Manston for weeks, for screening and vaccinations on diphtheria to be recommended for everyone passing through Manston. What on earth were they doing in the meantime? Because even then, on that very same day, the Home Office was moving people who'd been in Manston into hotels across the country without even telling councils or public health officials, and including in one case, specifically telling the council these were not transfers from Manston, even though they were. Others where councils were told nothing at all, and no information for public health officials about whether people needed further diphtheria screening and vaccinations, including leaving people to seek treatment for themselves for diphtheria symptoms at local A&E departments. The Health Secretary has said that 500 people have now been screened and vaccinated. What about the other several thousand people who have been in Manston, wherever they now are in the country, have they been screened or vaccinated for diphtheria as well? If not, why on earth not? Because that was the public health recommendation nearly three weeks ago, and that was already late. Have all those with possible symptoms now been given precautionary antibiotics? Again, if not, why not? We're told diphtheria is an easy infection to treat and to vaccinate against, which is why we have a universal vaccination policy in the UK. But that needs proper information for health officials to be able to use, and it needs the Home Office to get a grip. Mm. Clearly, the government has ignored health advice, and it's also ignored legal advice. The business secretary said publicly that when he was, health, health, when was Home Office Minister, he was advised he had to act as he was breaking the law. Mm. The permanent secretary has said now the Home Secretary was given the same legal advice. So why didn't she act, either on the legal advice 
or on the health advice. I'm sure the Immigration Minister is working really hard to try and sort this out. The problem is that everyone else is struggling to clear up the Home Secretary's chaos, and she isn't even here. It is chaotic. This issue is too important not to have a grip in place, and if the Home Secretary is too frit to attend this House and take responsibility for her decisions, she should get out the way and let someone else do the job. Now, I would have played the reply of Immigration Minister, our honest Bob Jenrick, but he didn't really say anything that wouldn't surprise you. And he did admit that there has been a rise of diphtheria cases. And also, where is our Home Secretary, our leaky Sue? Why is our honest Bob having to take the flack for a pathetic out-of-depth Home Secretary? She's, she's absolutely useless, isn't she? But anyway... Well done, Yvette Cooper. She's been doing superb stuff over the last couple of weeks and uh, and uh, absolutely ripping to shreds hapless home secretaries. <laughs> well, the last few, but let's be honest, it's not a great che- achievement, is it, given the ranking p- incompetency of them? But anyway, leave your comments below and um, I shall bid you farewell and um, take care. <laughs>